Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Operation Darkness. Let's see, I don't know if we got anything new for skills. No, so we're good. Alright. Uh, equip everybody with everything. That's right, I don't think there was another... Uh, Enfield sniper rifle just yet. Nope. Alright, let's um Oh, 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 hold on. Let me make sure everybody's got full uh okay, everybody's got full medkits, alright. Move out. Oh there's Bocage. Oh boy. Yeah, I know all about these towns and everything for the most part. During late June of 1944, the German forces continue their counterattacks on the Allies' locations. After encountering heavy fire, the British forces landing at Sword Beach find themselves unable to advance past Caen, which would remain under German occupation until August 8th. During this time, the Wolf Pack are assigned on various reconnaissance missions away from the front. Meanwhile, the Allied intelligence network is working diligently but its agents have uncovered no new information on German atomic weaponry or on the relationship between the Blood Clan and the Nazis. <laughs> Someone come out. The Fuhrer is disappointed with your failure in France, and he is not pleased the Allied invasion was successful. I apologize, Herr General. Our forces could not stand against their three million troops. If they advance, we may need to summon our blood subjects. Your blood subjects? Hmm. We'll see. In the meantime, you are to remain here in Berlin and help my subordinates suppress the Allied sympathizers. Jawohl, sir. Okay. These monsters. Now she wants to call up their blood subjects. What next? Well, you are Captain Crazy Pants. As far as anything shocking you. We've been running reconnaissance ever since we landed here. I thought we were going after Hitler. We're here to eliminate the Blood Clan. Until we receive more intelligence on their next move, our orders are to support other divisions. I understand that, but we could at least be on the front lines. I hear our armor division at Kars in a stalemate. Bet we'd see some action out there. Calm down, mate. I know it's tedious, but they give us these missions for a reason. Everyone, get your gear ready and prepare to move out. We're heading deeper into France. Here we go again. More reconnaissance, I bet. Oh, quit your whining. Briefing! Listen up. We will deploy near the town of villers bocage The enemy is spread throughout the area, and our mission is to assess their numbers. We know there is at least one armored division active, so bring your anti-tank weapons. We'll enter from the northwest. As we encounter enemy forces, engage them, but do not pursue. Remember our objective. That is all. Make your final preparations and reassemble back here in ten minutes. Germany for the assault rifles. <laughs> oh dear, this is the mission I was worrying about. Oh. Oh no. 
There's no sign of the enemy, or civilians. This place is deserted. We're about to run into somebody. A historical figure. And he ain't no punk. I heard a division of four German tanks destroyed 28 of our vehicles here a few days ago. The civilians must have fled the city during the battle. Yeah, I, I know who's responsible for that. I heard that report too. The German division was led by a tank with the numbers 231 on the side. He must be exceptional. Yeah. He may not be blood clad, and he may not have any special powers. But we can't let our guards down. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, poop. It's a tiger. It's Incoming! Him. Look! 231! That must be the tank commander! Yep. It's him. Quick! Take cover and prepare for anti tank combat. Wait. Change into a werewolf and go punch the tank. Mission 8, Knight of Iron. Okay, so this is something I was wanting to get into in a, another previous video. Um, because the Japanese and the Germans were allied in World War II, they tend to still have a camaraderie, if you could say. Um, between their forces, in a way. Oh, that's right, they're here in the freaking river. Gonna split up everybody. Alright, so any tank guys are gonna go right. Um, kind of like the way the Americans and British kind of have that camaraderie of like, hey, we fought for the Germans in World War II. What's up? Very noticeable in some sort of certain animes and things uh, that I've seen. But this game tends to hold this scumbag in high regard. Um, I'm not sure what to think about him. Um, from what I know of him, he was a flat out Nazi. So. It's kind of hard to hold him in high regard when he isn't, it is in fact a full on Nazi. Poor Frank. Because they're going to have. You get the freaking jack grenade. You, you go over here with them. Go like this. Herbert are gonna be a little slower, but not too much. Come on, Captain Slow. Oh no! I didn't know if they were. I put that up too far forward. They all ate around for it. Son of a biscuit. Oh, jeez. I forgot the cars will blow up. Oh, that's not cool, guys. Well, now the car can't blow up, so uh, we'll go behind it. That sucked. And we're off to a freaking wonderful start on this, ain't we? Bang up job. Let's see, is there another one across the sets? But yeah, there is. Okay. I don't think I've ever destroyed this tank. Yeah, that's a. Panzer Kampfwagen 6 Tiger became 
knows that. It's a mean tank. Probably the best tank of the whole war. Um, just in terms of just raw firepower. Range, firepower, it had everything. Oh, now the Nancy show up if you get close to it. Oh, we've got friends. Tank Commander! I was sent by Rice Fjord Himmler to assist you. Thank you, soldier. Michael Vittman, everyone. The biggest tank ace of World War II. He doesn't live much farther past this battle, but yeah, that, that thing about him blowing up a whole convoy of vehicles, uh, blowing up 28 vehicles in a convoy, that happened. Only he did that by himself. And when he got to the end of the convoy, he turned around, came back through it, and shot it up and go on the way back. Dude didn't screw around. Uh, the funny thing is, he actually cut his teeth as a tank commander by uh, commanding a Stug in the Eastern Front. And then they, they rec finally recognized him and his gunner skill, and they never took those two apart. They put him in a Tiger, and Guy went freaking crazy. And as you see, he is full on Nazi. He's got the Death's Head emblem on his hat. He was in Hitler Youth. This guy's not a nice guy. He was a great soldier. Ghost warriors, but, rise and attack! But he was a, a full Nazi. You throw more zombies at me? Yep. More cannon fodder. Or, or other to call them experienced pinatas. Look alive, soldiers. Here come those ghost warriors again. Now oh, you gotta look at those things. Are they moving corpses? Now, I can kind of see where he's coming from from this. So I'm like, dude, you freaking genocide Jews. Screw you. Yes, Commander. Created by the Fuhrer himself. Now, fire at the enemy while my men attack them. I refuse to do that. What? Are you disobeying a direct order? I can kind of see where they could romanticize this guy a little bit because he was such a good tank commander. I refuse to use such cowardly tactics. You should feel ashamed for defiling the corpses of your countrymen. You should know this loyalty to the Fjord comes with a price, Commander. Yeah, shoot at him. <laughs> this is disgraceful. Tank driver, they're pulling out of here. Yeah, you never get to fight him. Now I remember, he drives off. He's like, screw you guys. Huh? The tank's leaving. Let me fire my, my assault rifle at you like kids in Battlefield. Damn it! I'll deal with those traitors later. Men, take care of the enemy! Okay. I'll get our... Alright, you look at the map. Oh, they're back over there. Oh, that's... Is that all the zombies? I think that's all the zombies, yeah. Alright, Frank, let's get in here and start killing some zombies. Oh, yeah, they're gonna get a turn off of that. Screw it, they can shoot Frank. You get plenty of health kits. Alright, Sturm Gewehr. Actually, I'll 
until the tanks get closer. Go over here and start shooting at him. This is why he's ready for your stuff game so let's see okay well we are getting something in this match so. Zambi. Yeah, 
don't think you've been paying attention to all of us. Ow, you douchebag. It really freaking hurts. Very nice. Yeah, the healing spells. They're just general douche spells. I'm not worried about the tiger right now. Let's, uh... The safest spot for him would be to be right here. Help this thing out, okay. That's a lot of damage. Fire. He's 
alright. He's alright. He only really used up with three. Still got two more to go. Oh, the tiger's pinned in with that Panzer IV wreck. Very nice. Wham, bam, bam. Alright, Keith, we get around here. Finish this tiger off. Now we don't have to deal with the tanks anymore. This one's all mine. This isn't good. We're gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Nah, we're fine, Frank. What are you talking about? I do like how their fortress change in their wearable form. Oh! You got stabbed in the throat. What? What was that? Jack, we've been waiting for you. Take care of those troops in front. They're all yours. Enter Jack the Ripper. The, cool, the second coolest character in this game. Gladly, love. I'll introduce him to my blades. This guy runs around the battlefield with a freaking knife and just kicks the crap out of people. As my strategy guide says, he brought a knife to a gunfight. And that's not a problem at all. <laughs> Wearing them down, guys. Come on. Come on, sniper team. <laughs> Yay! Oh, good. She got a little boot. Thank you. No, she's not quite ready for her. That's fine. I think it's not just there. Yes, yes, yes. Come back some magic powers, don't mind if I do. Can you shoot anybody through here? You can. Oh man, the odds of that going 
through there and hit me. I gotta go for it. Yep, it's a pillar. Freaking dang it. Alright, yeah, I can still kill one of these guys. That's good now. Yay! Ooh, more move speed hit. Attack, yeah. And it's attacking Buck. Frank, you're on duty with Jack over here. Go kick the crap out of these guys. Good range. Nope. I should. I think I'm about. You know, no, Frank's not much lighter than that weapon. Oh wait. Death Slash, Charge Force Slash it in. You have to have Bayonet. Basically, we're going to have an M4 Bayonet on him for the rest of the game because all of his moves require a Bayonet. I'm not going to get too crazy with him up front because he doesn't have auto regen. He's just some really good items on him. Just that. Hat. I only have grenades. Oof, duh. Come on. Oh, that's right. 
Magnite's fist. Throw that off. Let's fortify yourself. Take it up over there for a minute. Get in there and get you some damage on. There we go. Yes! Side of the map. Move out. Hex shoots. Oh, that's the dick move they got. I remember now. Oh, jeez, how much this jack had. I really don't want to run him in there just yet, and he's a higher level than the rest of us, so we just, we just keep there to his back up. Oh, my God. 
Sure came in handy. Oh, now some sort of cutting you boys deep. Cut you deep. Alright, Frank, get in here and get some work done. Uh, let's see. You know, we're gonna show off Magnite's fist. That, uh, that, uh, yeah, we'll grab a fence, so we'll grab one of those. That's good. Oh, I don't have the healing ability just yet. SS Obersturmführer Michael Wittmann, commander of the 101st SS Panzer Battalion. I didn't know our forces would resort to such ignoble tactics. I apologize for their cowardice. Lieutenant Colonel James Gallant, British Special Forces. Commander Wittmann, were you not aware of some of your countrymen's most recent military policies? I was not. I'm a proud German soldier, and we Germans believe in a fair fight. I will not resort to defiling the corpses of my comrades to win a battle. You're an honorable man. I propose we move along then, shall we? As honorable men, I doubt either of us would even consider firing at the other from behind. Agreed, Commander. Auf Wiedersehen. Well, I guess not all Germans are ruthless murderers. Oh my gosh, Wittmann was brutal on the battlefield. What are you talking right. about? When he hit that convoy by himself, he went back, got two more to tank. Okay, for his heroics defending Vieres Bocage on June 13th, 1944. Michael Wittmann was promoted to the rank of SS Hopsturmfuhr. However, he met his end on August 8th when he found himself outnumbered by five Sherman tanks in western France. Before he was killed in action, Michael Wittmann was credited with destroying no fuel. I couldn't even read all that! His body was not found until years later in 1983, and it was laid to rest in the La Cambre Military Cemetery in Normandy. There remains no present-day record of Wittmann ever agreeing to a temporary ceasefire with a British unit on June 18th, 1944. So they're saying that this whole fight is BS. <laughs> No, the guy was ruthless. Yeah, he destroyed a crap ton of tanks and a ton of artillery pieces. Artillery being mobile artillery units uh, and a tank guns. 
anything, any kind of a cannon that wasn't attached to a uh, uh, engine and some tracks. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I'll catch you on the next one.